that one. Wow. It's pretty good. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to take you through a cast to catch fish that I caught just the other day on this exact bank. And I wanted to talk about it because it's kind of a common scenario, especially here in 2023, that I am finding uh, that you have to go through to catch a decent fish. So we'll start off, I'll talk about how my day was going, uh, why I ended up on this bank. We'll go through the fish catch and we'll talk uh, everything, uh, we'll talk into everything that you need to know about where that fish was caught, what I caught it on, why I was out here, what my thinking was, the whole works. So I started out uh, right at daybreak, topwater uh, fishing, and I, it was very underwhelming. I caught six or eight fish, but they were all just maybe keepers to a pound and three quarters. Not what I wanted. You guys know the situation out here. We're, it's easy to catch a lot of small fish. The big ones have been harder to, to, uh, to catch. And I'm not talking about, I'd, I'd love to have a monster, but I'm talking about something three, four pounds. Uh, I just needed to set on a bigger fish. That topwater bite deteriorated um, probably about seven o'clock. Uh, I took my topwaters off. I was throwing jerk baits and faster moving baits. I continued to catch fish in the 12 inch size range and I was really getting a little bit frustrated so I knew that I had to do something different. I decided I was going to start punching and, and worming, uh, maybe throwing some jigs, some bottom contact baits that were down and dirty in the weeds. I wanted to fish a little deeper so I found this bank here and what it's a Thule bank, a Thule island. And as you can see, there's lots of Thule clumps up and down this bank. And these Thule clumps are positioned right at the edge of a ledge. If you look out in front of me, just off of those Thule's, there is a ledge that drops down to about six or eight feet. It's anywhere from one to three feet up uh, on, on the ledge uh, on the other side of the Thule's. So my plan was was to get up there and start fishing a six inch worm right on that ledge and I was especially going to concentrate on every one of those Thule clumps, the outside edge right where that drop off is. Those were the doors that I wanted to knock on. I felt like out of the eight or ten or twelve of these little Thule clumps, there should be a big fish sitting out there that's going to take a worm. So I am using a seven foot two medium heavy fast action rod. Uh, this rod is is uh, has a lot of pulling power. It's a rod that I could really set a hook with. So let me go over one thing that I noticed I was doing, and it, it looks a little weird, but you guys may think about this really hard to do in a kayak, but uh, for you guys that are fishing out of a boat, think about this. As I cast up, and I've got my bait soaking, all of a sudden I feel a bite. Oh, there's a bite right there. That's a good deal. Not the one I wanted. Let's get rid of this real quick. You never know if they're gonna be a six incher or a six pounder. So that's why you always wanna be in position to set the hook. And this might kind of demonstrate um, what I'm about to talk about. So I cast that bait up there and we we let it get in position. You'll notice I will be kind of pointing the rod at the bait and I reel in slow. Now let's say I get a I, I get a touch right now. I don't know if that fish is six inches or six pounds. You'll see me kind of stand up and drop this leg back and I'll start walking the whole rod back. I've got total command and feel of the rod and it's in the right exact place so if that fish grabs it I can set from here all the way back here with a really strong hook set. If I am up here and let's just say I'm having fun talking to my buddy, I'm twitching, 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 I get the rod in this position, all of a sudden I get bit, where can I set that hook? I got to go from here to here. Not a great hook set. So that's one of the reasons I kind of walk my, my bait back make sure I'm standing up and I walk it back. Also as I'm walking the bait back I'm not reeling. As you turn the crank on the reel you will feel some vibration in the rod as that uh, reel is pulling in line. So when I'm doing this I can 
put my fingers right on this rod and I can feel everything. I can feel if there's a tick from, from a fish. I could feel when it's coming through vegetation and I keep moving back slowly, especially when I feel maybe something sniffing on that thing. And when they take it, then I am always in perfect position to set. I don't have the rod back here where I can't uh, get a good hook set on. So we'll kind of talk through that as we go through, um, uh, uh, the bite and the fish catch. Let's check out that fish and uh, man, I was happy to get this one on this particular day because fishing had been super tough. So let's check out the fish catch. Okay, we started out fishing. Right away I got a bite. So I dropped my leg, set the hook like it was a 10 pounder. It was about an eight inch fish, but got the ball rolling in the right direction. Gave me a little confidence to fish the rest of this bank. Okay, so I lost my worm on that last fish. I decided to use a recycled 6-inch green pumpkin Cinco. I have it rigged Nico style with about an eighth of an ounce of weight in the head of the bait. I'm using a 55-pound braid with about 6 feet of 16-pound Maxima leader. And I am fishing down the bank fairly quickly I'm making sure that I'm knocking on every door that I think there might be a fish under and you can see I'm fishing around this floating hyacinth which is right over the ledge. So this is kind of a, a good spot to try. We'll call it our B spot. My A spot would be right up uh, in that next tule berm and I want to get that bait right on the edge of the ledge right out from the tule clump. Coming up to my A spots now, and like I said, I'm working right along the edge, making sure I knock on every one of these doors, and as I'm passing these clumps, I'm slowing down and trying to work that bait nice and slow right along the bottom. Okay, we moved down the bank uh, fairly quickly without any other pickups, but I, I'm seeing in front of me some really prime um, tule uh, clumps out there, so my hopes are still high. My boat is positioned right on the ledge, maybe a foot off the ledge, and I'm really trying to get these baits down to the bottom and work right through the, uh, the vegetation that's around these um, tule clumps. Now on this next cast, I get a really good cast in there. I was on high alert, You'll see, I thought I got a bite, and you'll see my leg drop, thinking that, man, I'm going to set on this thing. This could be a place where a big fish is. So I got the bait on the bottom. I'm just giving a little twitch every now and up. Oh, I think, think I'm getting a bite. Just didn't pick it up. But I, that uh, cast was right in between those two uh, tule clumps that are out there. My next cast is going to be about three or four feet off the point it's going to drop right into that point and this is where I catch the fish. I feel uh, uh, the bite. You'll see the line jump if you watch the end of that rod. Here it comes. There it goes out. Drop my leg. I set the hook and it turned out finally to be a decent fish. Man, that is a good feeling when you've been catching dinks all day and you finally set on something that's you know in that three or four pound range. So I land the fish uh, and, and that particular fish on, on that particular day made my day. That was the only decent fish that I caught. So with that, I guess I just want to kind of reiterate and, and let everybody know uh, any cast out there you can get a big fish. Um, you can be dinking, dinking, dinking. The next fish can be a four pounder, it could be an eight pounder, it could be a 12 pounder. So when you guys are out there, keep your confidence up. Work, work as hard as you can, and, you know, it'll pay off. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you uh, subscribe if you haven't been subscribed, and we'll see you guys on the water. Good luck till next time.